We have big new details tonight surrounding that church bus crash that killed three members of the Colonial Hills Baptist Church. Inspectors confirmed they took another look at the brakes for the bus involved in that accident. Tonight, our Call 6 investigators have new details on those inspections. Call 6 investigator Rafael Sanchez joins us now with the very latest. Uh, Todd and Erica, good evening. The news just went out in an RTV6 push alert. Sources tell me that the initial inspections show that the bus's brake system was fine. That's the sound of a brake when a driver stops a charter bus. Investigators have been focused on the brake system of this bus, belonging to Colonial Hills Baptist Church. Police say the driver of the bus, Dennis Maurer, told them that the brakes failed while returning from a camp trip in Michigan. Three people and an unborn baby were killed. While a church family mourns, it's the mechanics of the bus that have also been top of mind for state police. We wanted to give you an idea at what state police investigators are looking at. This bus here is similar to the one involved in that crash. It also has a similar braking system. In the underbelly, investigators have been looking at the axles, the brake pads, and push rods that help a bus stop and go. Sources tell the Call 6 investigators that an initial review of the charter bus shows that its brake system was working on July 27th. That would be consistent with what church leaders told us as they defended their bus's maintenance record hours after the crash. Uh, I can assure you that, that uh, the people responsible for that were, I would, I would trust them sure. with my, with my Thank you. life. Thank you. So within the next two weeks, we should get the state's preliminary crash report detailing the official cause of that crash. That report will be reviewed by the Marion County Prosecutor's Office, which is customary in these types of situations. And then what about the final report? We're expecting that final report up in up to maybe six months, possibly, because investigators are now waiting for the toxicology report on the driver. And that test is also a common procedure in these types of accidents. All right. Thanks for following up on this, Raphael.